first impression was a fuel impact wrench. It was easier maneuver, you can get in tighter quarters. The torque ratio on it was phenomenal compared to the other brands I've used. Well, I have plenty of power for everything I need to take loose and tighten, and mobility is a really important thing to me. Most of the stuff I'm working on is going to be anywhere from 85 to 150 or 200 pounds. So the 3 8 or the half is plenty strong for what we do. We use the fuel impact wrench mostly for closing our couplings and it's pretty relentless work and it does a great job all day long. So it's taking quite a beating and it does a great job, it does it fast. I was surprised about how small it was versus the power that it has and how long the battery would last when we're using it. You know, in an eight hour day, we could go a full day on one battery. Productivity is increased with the fuel impact wrench just because you're not constantly swapping out batteries and because it's faster than the other impacts. With having the different modes, you know that if you're in lower modes, you know that you're not going to damage things, but if you're in the higher modes, you know that if something really needs to be tight, it's going to be tight. Definitely, the modes with the fuel impact wrench are great. Whatever you're doing, you got a little screw you got to put in, you know, it just sets number one and goes right in. You don't have to worry about snapping the head off. Mode two, you know, you go a little bit heavier, you can get a little bit deeper starter bolts. The third setting I've been used for, I've been using for like taking off lug nuts, strut bolts. The torque specs on the M18 where it's got an automatic torque stop is nice to have so you don't over tighten the bolt or break it. I've used plenty of other impact wrenches over the years and there's no way I would go back to anything but the fuel impact now.